Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. So today I figured I was going to sit down and just kind of talk about some things that are coming up. You know, it's uh, it's getting really close to the holiday season right now. A lot of things are really starting to happen. Most people's calendars really get full around this time of the year, um, mine included. So I'm um, going to talk about some of that, what to expect, maybe a couple new things coming. But I'm also going to have Ernie Hatmaker, which uh, the majority of you probably know, she is my wife and uh, she does have her own channel and that channel is Ernie Hatmaker. So original. But uh, anyway, so if you're not subscribed to Ernie, um, I do encourage it. She has a lot of really fun videos and uh, she says she features me in a lot of her videos but um, well you can go over and watch it. I don't know that it's featured as much as she's got videos of me working. But uh, anyway, come on Ernie. she just can't walk in and sit down that, that would be too boring wouldn't it yes yes it would so so anyway um yeah so things that are going to be coming up uh here soon like i said uh it is uh getting close to the holiday season uh it's november uh thanksgiving is next week yeah and then of course you know christmas follows and the new year Ooh, i smell and, like pumpkin bread you just and yeah so uh right now it don't look like it, but I'm actually making two loaves of pumpkin bread. We're having a uh, Thanksgiving dinner for our church uh, tomorrow. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Um, so the, by the time you see this, we'll, we'll have already eaten this pumpkin bread. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'll uh, save you a slice. Yeah, yeah. But you got to come get it. We're not mailing it. Um, so anyway, uh, making pumpkin bread. Yeah. Um, so. On my channel, um, I know that a lot of you have seen the Acme review where we went down to Atlanta earlier this month. That, that was, was a lot of fun. That was a great trip. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I mean, we went down to um, my hometown, Warner Robins, uh, before we went up to Atlanta and we got to see my dad and uh, we visited with him and uh, Jackie and we got to go over and uh, do a little bit of uh, maintenance at, at my mom's gravesite, which you know we try to do that uh, twice a year if possible. Mm -hmm. So, so it was a uh, you know good check mark um, to get that done. But then Atlanta, that was a lot of fun. Other than the traffic, the traffic yeah. was horrible. Yeah. Um, of course, you know the Braves had just won the World Series, so it was just they a did. bad timing thing, I guess. Yay for the Braves! Yeah, though. congratulations, Braves, and all the Braves fans. Um, but anyhow, uh, the Acme show was awesome. We got to meet a ton of YouTubers. Y'all know all we get to see is hands most of the time, <laughs> hands, gloves. You know, we get to hear voices, but yeah, yeah, it was good to match up faces, you know, with some of those hands. So I mean, one of the voices that was really distinguishable in my mind anyway, it was Brian from uh, BG Model Workshop. He's uh, in Arizona, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you always hear his voice and you see his hands, but it's, it's very rare that, that I see his face on a video. So Brian, if you're watching, it was really good to meet you. All of you guys, it was great to meet. Tim from Throttle Power, um, Richard Procary Trucker was down there. You Morris met, you've Custom met Model Pro Carry Trucker oh, so yeah, many times. Yeah. Um, I love it whenever Richard stops in town and, and hangs out for a while. Yeah, we'll usually try to do a breakfast or you know something with a I'm telling you, if y'all don't know him, you should go over there and meet him. He has crossed over so many circles now. He really has. Um, and, and Richard uh, Pro Carry Trucker is uh, getting into the model scene now. So, um, anyway. Big time. Oh, he racked up at the Acme show. He I, racked up. Okay, a lot of you guys that are that are gonna be watching this video, I'm gonna say there's probably gonna be 25 of you at least that were down at Acme. And, and I would say that we all racked up because I come home with a whole stash of models and I did a video on that already too, you already know. So um, anyway, other people that we met, uh, let's see, Neiman Chambers was down there, and I don't think I got to sit down and actually talk with Neiman, 
but uh, I kind of waved at him from across the way and it was glad to... I got to talk to him. Yeah, well, I, I missed. Um, Rambler 69, uh, goodness. I didn't get to hang out with him much at all. Yeah, th th there was One little hoo-hoo. Yeah. Because I think everybody was so happy to see everybody that you guys were literally jumping from person to person just, you know, probably excited that you finally all get to connect. Well, it was like a family gathering of a bunch of ADD people. I mean, we were just like, oh, look, models, plastic, hey, look, you know. So, you know, we were everywhere. Um, Fred Henry, I can't uh, can't go without mentioning Fred Henry. Uh, great, great fella. Uh, that was so good hooking up with you, Fred. Yeah. Uh, former Navy guy. Um, so uh, he and I, you know, we have that uh, kind of going as a, a, a camaraderie, kinship, if you will, but uh, anyway, it was great. I just like calling him Slappy Pappy. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it was it was just awesome to meet everybody, and I know that I've, I've left out some names, and I didn't intend to do that, so for everybody that we met and talked to, um, I really enjoyed it, uh, and I look forward to doing it again, hopefully, uh, hopefully sooner than next year. I'd but, like you to tell them about that truck you were making. You only got a little bit into detail about it, when you were showing all the things that you had gotten at Acme on the other video. If you guys didn't see that video, there was a part where he showed some of the models that he had picked up. Yeah. But there's a truck that he picked up and so, I'd like him to talk about it right now. Alright, um, so anyway, I'm out there enjoying Acme and I think I was actually talking with a couple of the YouTubers and I got summoned away. And she, <laughs> yeah, she's like, hey, you need to come over here, I want to show you something. And of course, I figured it was something big, something exciting. So uh, it was an emergency. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ernie doesn't get excited about plastic models very often. I mean, she tried her hand at one. And, I'm not uh, one of you blue sniffers. Yeah. And uh, if you guys know what video I'm talking about, what model it was that she tried, uh, that just might be a good question to ask for the, for the twenty-five dollar giveaway. Mm -hmm. So what model is it that Ernie has tried to assemble in the past? And I did a video on it. He did. So anyway, back to the truck. Um, Ernie says, hey, come here. And uh, she points out it's a 76 Chevy Stepside 4x4. Um, don't quote me, I think it's a Revell kit. Um, I might be wrong, but uh, anyway, she says, I want that. She says, I want you to build that model for me. So, I've always wanted one of those. Yeah. Not, not. The, I actually want a one-one scale model of it. <laughs> she actually wants one that'll drive, not just the model. Um, but uh, I haven't seen that particular model at uh, our local hobby shop, which I'm sure if you guys understand what I'm saying, you know it's a big lobby. Um, they don't have that particular model. They've had a couple other trucks, um, you know, with snow plow and, uh, but didn't want that kit. That is uh, correct. This was the kit that she saw, she wanted it, and so we bought it, and I am gonna be building that, uh, which is probably going to be next on my bench. Um, right now, I've got an F8J Crusader that I'm working on for Shade Tree Fix-It Man, George. Um, this is a commission build of an airplane that he was a plane captain on when he was in the Navy. So I'm working on that one, and once I get that one wrapped up and off the bench, the truck's gonna be next. So, anyway, stay tuned, keep uh, watching, and, and hopefully you'll follow along on that. Um, some other changes are coming real soon, and I mentioned this in a video that we did for her channel just uh, well, five minutes ago, but anyway, you, you'll... Uh, so yeah, some changes are coming, and it's going to affect my schedule, my, uh, my free time. So, I'm not really going to go into it any further than that. Other than I'm going to have... He's not quitting YouTube. No, no, I'm not. Um, but I am going to have some, some different opportunities uh, come up and hopefully uh, make some different kind of videos and expand the channel a little bit more. <laughs> Into so, the 18 and over? Um, well, it's already <laughs> marked as, you know, not for children. But no, we're not talking about that. Um, I think my days of uh, performing in that realm might be a little bit past me. But uh, anyhow, so um, we're going to be doing a lot of work out in the garden come real soon because we have to kind of disassemble this past year's uh, garden setup. Um, 
we're, yeah, we're gonna uh, rearrange yeah, some things yeah, out there. Definitely. And uh, so a lot of the uh, a lot of the plants need to be pulled up and you know gotten rid of. Most of them are gonna go either into the compost or the burn uh, barrel. So um, he's but, gonna build me a bigger compost bin. Yeah. Because I'm on a three stall. So system. see, that's a, that's another project coming up. Is I gotta build um, a compost bin. I've been building some raised beds. that was um, let's roll with it though. yeah so but uh, been getting a lot of free pallets lately and uh, of course around here they're not hard to come by I don't know where you live if you can find free pallets or not but uh, yeah there are there are some stores you got to check the smaller stores that you know or maybe mom and pop instead of the franchise that can afford to, to pay somebody to haul them off because you know where you guys are seeing people that are selling them for five bucks or ten bucks each, we're going to mom and pop stores that can't necessarily afford to pay a company to haul them off, and so they would rather advertise them or put them out front and put the word free on them. Yeah, they'll they'll put them on like online marketplaces and whatnot, and you know, pallets, you know, just come pick them up. So that's that's where we have found the majority of the ones that we get. The ones that we use for the plants. They have heat treated uh, symbols on them so that they are not, you know, harboring, you know, little creepy crawly fugitives in the wood that could potentially mess up, you know, the health of our plants. So we, we are careful about which ones that we use for the beds and which ones, you know, that are going to be used for other projects or burning. Right. So anyway, lots of uh, things coming up and I encourage you, please, if you're not already uh, a follower of Ernie Hatmaker, go over check your channel out. and. Uh, Follow me. Hopefully you'll find something of interest and uh, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I would like to encourage you to consider subscribing as well. Like I said, lots of things coming up and uh, I got to wrap this thing up because my pumpkin bread's about ready to come out. I don't don't forget that giveaway. And that's right, $25 giveaway and I already asked you to answer the question to qualify you for that giveaway. I will put out more information about it, but uh, you guys know that it's coming and now you know what to look for. And uh, yeah, so we'll put out information about when and where and, and all that later. So keep watching. Take care, God bless. Remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.